It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. This is my reaction to Season 1, Episode 1, which is called Years. We've literally been waiting years as well, six years to be exact, for this show and for Rick's story to conclude. So I think we've been speculating and predicting long enough. Let's just jump into it and see what they have cooking up for us and how they're going to continue and possibly conclude Rick's story. But with that said, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's just jump into it. But as always, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that, let's just jump right into it. We tell ourselves that we are the walking dead. Starting with a recap, I like it. We're in here together. We're gonna lose people. Maybe even each other. You can lose me. Tell them. It's me who doesn't make it. You're gonna have to lead the others forward. So you're the one who can. Here we go. Making a future for Judith, it'll be worth it. We can make it. I'm not giving up. Awesome recap. Not gonna lie. I have a B. Major General. Oh, they're doing a recap of World Beyond too. Betrayal. And fear. That's cool. I will fix it. I found something that belonged to the brave man. What do you mean? Mom. Is he alive? I I don't know. But if you think he's alive, then you have to go find him. Okay, baby girl, I'm gonna try. Go get him. I tried. Please no. We've already seen the opening minutes. That's Omaha falling from World Beyond, I'm assuming. He's definitely a broken man at this point. That music is intense. We all know Rick is not gonna kill himself, obviously. Imagine if he does though. <laughs> Story over. <laughs> After six years, that would suck. Is that the intro? Nice. Title cards. It's cool, the bridge. Some CRM stuff, I like it. Portland, Omaha. Philadelphia, the last circle in the CRM emblem. That theme is freaking intense. I'm freaking hyped. That was phenomenal. Five years after the bridge. Oh. Consignees, the Civic Republic Military thanks you for signing up for this voluntary assignment. Is it voluntary though? Damn, we all know what that's gonna lead to at this point. Frickin' Epic Grimes is back, baby. That's the Rick we've been waiting for. Is it gonna jam? I feel like it's gonna jam. Oh. Oh! 
Damn! So, it looks like he's gonna do it to escape, or try to escape. That's crazy. I'm not a fan of him losing his hand, but it's epic. Let's not kid ourselves. It's pretty epic. He's not going to be able to get far, though. Oh. Of course. Sneaky walkers. Ninja walkers. Is it cut already? I feel like it is. It must be, because he's... Not chained anymore. Damn. Oh! That was crazy. That was crazy. That explains how he doesn't bleed out right away. After all of that, that sucks. That's a pretty interesting shot. Michelle! Oh shit. Excuse me? Whoa! A hallucination? You mean something else? I'm not from around here. I'm lost and I'm late for work. Do you know, uh, cartography? <laughs> I don't. I just know where things are. Unexpected hallucination, but I like it. That hand appears to be gone. <laughs> That's crazy. I guess we finally get Rick from the comics. I always thought I would wait to tell you everything when we were finally back together. That it'd just be a story on the porch after the sun went down. When we could barely see each other. But I have to tell you now. Not everything. I can't face everything. This is most of it, but all of it, it was always about getting back to you. That's a lot of bridge. phones with Michonne's face on it. And I woke up in a military hospital. An army found me, a force of thousands, protecting a working hidden city of hundreds of thousands. Security and secrecy above all, that's the army's code, so no one can leave ever. Yeah. The city governs itself. I like how it from the military. parallels him waking up in the hospital, rule, in the pilot. I like that. Outside the walls. The people they rescue, they work in the outskirts, killing walkers for energy, or growing food, or managing the water, the waste. After six years of it to get into the city, away from the army, from the outskirts. They're called consignees. I was one of them, but I was never gonna go in. I was gonna get away. I was gonna get back to you. God damn it. I was. If he's finding it challenging to do it with one hand, missing. But we know he can, because he's freaking badass crimes. Exactly. I came down here because I spoke with Major General Bill. About me? Yeah. You are lucky you got a friend in high places. Janus. Huh? Rick got lobby, the head of what is likely the most powerful military on the planet. On your behalf. I am possibly the best friend you ever had. Or maybe he did it. That's interesting. What happened to your forehead? Someone like you happened. <laughs> Someone who may be better for my program. 
You think that staying out there gives you a better chance to get in the way? It doesn't. It just gives you a, another chance to die. You may have noticed I don't want to see that happen. I'm going back to work. Rick, did you hear what you I got? You don't have to do this anymore. First time I tried, the army didn't know what to do with me. Because no one tries to escape. No one wants to. <laughs> but they put me in jail. Kill me. A lieutenant colonel named Okafor. He convinced them to keep me a consignee, and I kept trying to escape. That's how it works, though, okay? I, I was hoping they explained that a little bit. I kept trying to get away. So they put me on a leash when we went out into the world. I couldn't get away. I couldn't get back to you. I was trapped. So he was the only one that was chained. That's interesting. Damn, Rick! Okafor protected me because he said he saw something in me. He wanted me to join his program. To join their army. To use my life for them. He put it this way. I keep on telling you. People like us. There's no escape for the living. I left the uniform in your apartment. It's time to accept things for what they are. It cost your hand Damn. last time. Next time it's your life. Do something with it. Now I see why they said Okafar has a key role in the story. Rick's like, only if I can get my hands on a helicopter. <laughs> I should thank you instead of throwing glasses at you. Why? Showed me I can't get away. Rick's pissed. You can see in his eyes. He's losing it. Are we gonna see General shit, Beale? Maybe I not. Heard about it, but damn, you really did that shit for real, huh? Hey, it's the bond. Yeah. Can I touch it? Nah, I just playing <laughs> jokes, man. Remind it be of Negan. You didn't even talk to me. He's right. like, can I touch it to call his eye? That was I good. Talking to you. Took a while, but we got something now. We got something, man. So that hidden city no looks one great. You see, like Alcatraz. For us consignees, though, we see that good life, man. Right? You know, they got air conditioning, man. Air conditioning. No more swamp ass, you feel me? As of tomorrow, I'm gonna be in there. Deputy manager of water and power of Ward 3. After six long years, man, my consignment is over. I'm about to be inside the walls, bitch. A citizen. <laughs> he reminds me of Jesse from Breaking Bad. What the hell are you gonna get me? Rick is beginning to accept. There we go. I guess he accepted. Rick's becoming a soldier! Join. Oh! You just got your ass kicked, Rick! This... is Millet. Oh, helicopter training! That's cool! Not exactly Millet country, but if I can find the right one, I could change things. Major General Beale. Is that your choice? Damn! Is this the end of it and the start of something? That's awesome. It's the end. And the start. Welcome to the CRM. That's cool. <laughs> Back to the hallucination, I guess. It's good to see them together. Can I at least? Even though it's a hallucination. <laughs> we'll get there, but not quite. Calming. It 
was a soldier. Yeah, he was. I was gonna hold this in a briefing room, but for what we're going to talk about, that would be neither safe nor appropriate. What are you gonna what talk the about? What is this? You both have been training for a year. You're both soldiers now, but you don't actually think all of this was about you two and just becoming soldiers. It's about you two becoming leaders. Mm. I am going to help you become part of Force Command within the CRM. I tried to escape four times. Mm -hmm. I did this. I tried to kill you. Yes, but the two of you can help me change things from the inside. Mm. Is it? Interesting. That's something I believe the CRM needs to become what it needs to be. Which is what exactly? Why does it need to be anything else? The city lives, it runs itself, the CRM runs the world outside. Everything is working where nothing else has. People can't leave. They're not free. No one's free. Not in this world, but we're alive. You are, and you're not supposed to be. The CRM designates people they find as A's and B's. A's have a strength. A's will die for what they believe in. People follow A's. A leader. When we cross in the world, the few we bring in, they're classified as B's. Everyday people who are just trying to survive. B's get in. A's are sent away and killed. Except you two. Why? Me. The CRM needs to change. The CRM needs strong leaders to change them. Being the monster to fight the monsters, that can't last. And this is why I need the two of you. All the other secrets you receive. So a secret the rebel world. group I see is forming? The echelon briefing. Move up the ranks. The echelon briefing? That's when you get all the info, the whys, the things 90% of our force doesn't know about and 100% of our city doesn't. Do they want us to be leaders? Do they even know about this? Here, tonight, telling us about A's and B's and secret briefings. No, this is just me. I believe that A's will become soldiers, become leaders, are the only thing that could possibly change the CRM. Yeah, so if there's a lot of truth to that. The higher ups that you're saying these things. Mm -mm. Don't say we, Grimes. If I'm an A, if I think for myself, why do you even think I'm going to go along with all of this? Because I believe Good if question. I one, you had a chance to save the world, you would. You Good would answer. That book, open it. By the way, obviously Jadis brought him what in as a B, but he's not really a B the here. Army without them even knowing it, and he wanted my help to do it. I play along. But it wasn't my fight. Look here. You're obviously looking at this different than I am. I hear you throw this wee shit around again. I'll end you. Hey! And you the one? The one who cut him up here? I shot at him. Just missed. Guess I didn't. You gonna shoot me? So that was her. I was in the South African Navy. Served in submarines. I used to play poker on the subs. I was good. I was great. I wanted to see how great. They have the best tournaments in the world in Las Vegas, so I went there to try my luck. I didn't play a single hand before the lights went out, which tells me my luck is apparently shit. <laughs> he found me in the Atlantic Ocean. I was half dead. I tried to kill him so I could stay there. It's my fourth time trying to get back since the start. Or oh, the end. I know why you've done what you've done. Trying to escape. Taking your hand off. Same reason I had. There's someone you love out there. There absolutely is. I accepted that I'm not going to see my someone again because I know that person doesn't want me to die. And that is probably why I just grazed Okafor's face. Somewhere deep inside I knew I wasn't making it back to Cape Town alive. If I should add you, Grams, I won't miss. I won't craze you either. Now I don't give a shit about what game you play. You heard what he said should have happened to us. 
This is all I have left. The rest, the life before, it's all gone. This is all you have left to. The person you are trying to get back I, to... She's not gone. They're not gone. She isn't. They aren't. We are. Whoa! That was... You want my help? That was good dialogue right there. Let's grab a drink before we kill each other. That's the CRM space! Early on, the army had found two other cities. Portland and Omaha. Not as big, not as sophisticated, and not keeping themselves secret. All three cities became an alliance, even though two don't know where the third is. The world is so much bigger than we knew, Michonne. So much better, and so much worse. Life surrounded by death, all in one view. That's Beal! Isn't that right? Major General Beal. Yes, sir. It is. Have a seat, Grimes. Damn, I can't picture Rick like that. Like I couldn't. That was interesting. Another thing we have over Portland and Omaha, in our alliance of three, is unlike them, we're fairly well hidden without much effort. I saw what federal forces did to Atlanta. They used napalm, sir. Monsters. Worse than the Delts. But this force, as the Pennsylvania National Guard at the time, we stopped them. How? Oh, interesting. Sacrifice, luck, calm, and Okafor. Okafor, sir. He was with their Air Force. He was supposed to bomb the city, but instead, he bombed 4,000 Marines Damn. at Lincoln Financial Field. That's crazy. He switched sides. Well, I did too. In a way. You and Thorne never would have been allowed into the CRM. You wouldn't even have been let into consignment. But Okafor made a compelling argument. Let me ask you a question, Grimes. I don't expect you to answer, and you don't have to. I'm just going to ask it and look in your eyes. Yes, sir. Is Okafor up to anything I should know about? No. no. Damn, that was good. <clears throat> no. Good, Rick. Everything was about secrets. The army kept the city a secret at all costs. Everything the army did was secret to the city. And then there were the soldiers with those blood red stripes, keeping what they did a secret to the whole force. Secrets on secrets. And the only thing I cared about was holding on to mine. Our latest modeling. Show. That's crazy. A tipping point. I'm loving the way that they're telling the story without actually yeah, showing it coming. or showing all of it. I like that. And it's coming soon. <laughs> Maybe you're asking, why can't you just turn away? Sometimes on person, sometimes too. They have the power, they have the responsibility to change everything. You'll see it, you'll face it, and I know you'll make the right choice. And that the defining moment You'll make the right choice. Is he finally in the city? Oh shit. Looks like it. Oh, shit. Esteban Garcia. Wait, is it Ward 3 Deputy Water Manager Esteban Garcia? Hey, hey it's Ward 3 Water Manager now, right? Hey, where's your consignment jacket? How the hell are you even here if it's not a furlough day? Oh shit. You joined the CRM. What the fuck? The tunnel under this manhole. I need you to tell me where it goes. Dude, 
I am senior level water and power now, okay? I can't I just... have to keep trying. I won't stop. I'm getting there. I'm getting home. Or I'm dying. That's it. Look, Rick, you know you're my guy, man. But I can't tell you shit, all right? Even if I did tell you shit. You know, the shit I would tell you would definitely not be that this tunnel would take you due east to a junction about a mile out. And there happened to be a padlock grate there. I 100% wouldn't tell you that the code to open it's 4399. <laughs> I said, I get it. All right, but you don't have to die, man. So don't fucking die, okay? After all the years of training and the talks with Okafor, playing the good soldier, I found a way back to you. It was a faraway mission, a resource run to an abandoned chemical plant. Is this where he escapes? I gotta walk her body, cut off its hand, left it with my dog tags, corpse with burn. There's no escape for the living. So I had to make sure they thought I was dead. I like this. This just shows how smart and resourceful Rick can be. Those armors are definitely there to stop the bites, which I like. It has like padding on it and shit. Said to ask for help. I'm asking. I am helping you. He would have found you. And whoever you're running to. He knows about you, Grimes. Come on. Is he gonna go murder Okafor now? Wake up. If we had the salute, soldier. What the hell do you know about me? I think of the dead all the time. Her name, back of the note, your message in a bottle from escape number three. I went to Red Island and found the bottle. That was her on the phone, right? Yeah, I, I looked through those two. The child uh, was your daughter, right? <laughs> Who fucking knows? Sean is an unusual name. Not many people Damn. Are there. But if you start the search around where we picked you up, that's potent information. So... I suppose killing me helps your chances. You know, maybe I shouldn't have told Thorn I know things about you, but she tells me things. <laughs> they would have sent me to find you, clean up my mess, and finally erase you. You are my charge. I'm the one who'd have to kill you and Michonne and anyone else you ran to out there just knowing about this. <laughs> Oh. I don't care why you're covered in blood, why the bombs go out, and why they don't come back. <laughs> yes, you do. It's in my city. Those aren't my people. Everyone, Whoa. all your people. Now is quite a thing to say. This isn't everything. 
You don't get to choose for the world. You don't get to choose for me. I don't. You did. You made the choice. My wife is my choice. My daughter, my life is my choice. You think I went what I went through? Did what I did to let anyone choose anything for me? You made the choice. You live for those people in that city because you got nothing else but your duty. Percentages and yields, A's and fucking B's. Some damn. damn good soldier with nothing. That's the Rick we were waiting for. I lost everything. I bombed Atlanta. Oh. I bombed Los Angeles, and I was in route to do the same to Philadelphia. So they lied. Estelle. They twisted it. Named Estelle. That was my wife. And she didn't want to go in to liquidate all the people I didn't manage to liquidate. We didn't want to see, Rick, another city die for nothing. And I had power. And I chills. Had choice. Literal chills. And I killed my wife. Oh. He's too and far gone. People. And we saved hundreds. Of thousands, maybe the whole world with her choice. I tried with you, Rick. I tried. I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for? Oh! Just let me go. Then just kill me. Exactly. Please. I won't. You fight for them. You already made the choice. He's just gonna kill him. I'm moving you to logistics. I guess not. Born. You're gonna help convert a college and a cascade to a forward operating base over the next 12 months. Bad already. For the frontliners, all top CRM commanders will convene a summit there in one year to open the base. You and Thorne will be project leads on the conversion team. This is you getting in. This is the start of your path to the higher echelons of power. I don't want power. That's the thing. You already have it. Damn, chills, literal freaking chills. You have to see this. Look. Seeing a scheduled rendezvous between Alliance Partners Portland and the Civic Republic, Major General Beale initiated a CRM reconnaissance mission to ascertain the status of Omaha. Mm. We have learned that we are now an alliance of two. The city of Omaha, one of the three surviving cities on the continent, has fallen. And with it, nearly 90,000 souls. Initial survey shows a collapsed section of the city's perimeter barrier. In the coming weeks, the CRM will investigate the collapse to determine if this was pressure from a dead man. You should have seen it coming. I guess this lines up with the opening. They were, and they died. What do you think people did this? I don't know who did this. I know the Soviet Republic is alive and Omar is dead. I know that secrets work. I know this is the answer. This is the place that will create the future and Portland needs to follow our lead. That girl that you saved, those dolls you killed at the manor, that was our mother and father. They had lived in a museum. A group they hunted and grew mushrooms, built fences. And then the girl said that one day the dead was inside. And then everyone was dead. Except her. She hid in this giant sculpture. Said it was a grasshopper with these sharp spines. 
she crawled under the in the doubt. The people she knew, they tore themselves up trying to get to her. She wound up covered in their blood and their organs. And after two days when she couldn't take it anymore, she finally stepped out to die. They didn't attack her. But she had nothing left and nowhere to go. So she just walked and tried not to make a noise as she cried. You and me and that girl. We all want to be somewhere else with someone else. But we got stuck in that high place. We did. And you are going to see that someday. So she's I'm still loyal. I stopped you. I'm not sorry. I saved your life even when you didn't want it to be saved. You didn't save my life. Yes, I did. See, I told you it connects back to the opening. about ending it just stopping it all but then then it would just be nothing wouldn't it all of it for nothing i couldn't do it but i still decided to die i've been writing you letters the whole time reaching out to feel something writing just to imagine you could read them this is my last one. The Damn. last letter I write to you that you'll never see. That's crazy. I love you. I'm getting chills again. That's crazy. I don't see the dead anymore. Or the ones I lost. Or the sun, the sky, or the water. I don't see you anymore. I just see what's ahead. Metal rotors and gun oil and blood. What I have to do, Damn. what I can do to help save the world, even if you don't know I ever did that. I love you so much. I love you so, so much. I tried. Please, just know I tried. I tried. He's 100% loyal now, I guess. But I failed. What if I came here one day mm -hmm. with five pizzas <laughs> and a wedding ring? I think you should do that. Oh, that escalated. Now, for taking us up the coast, I like so we're finally in the current timeline. Oh, to tell if there's anything on your mind, you rarely say shit these days, right? So they basically spent a good percentage of the hour recapping the six kid. years. <laughs> Seven years old. I was thirsty, couldn't sleep, so I went to get some water old house squeaky floorboards try not to wake my family i was on the stairs and i saw a light in the kitchen it was orange my crops were burning i was so scared i couldn't move then my dad was there it looked like a monster. Half his body was burned. But he was there to get me out. He said I didn't need to be scared. That it was just the burning. That the flames are protecting the plants for the next harvest. He said it may look like the end of the world. But it's only just the beginning. He was so certain. So stupid. 
steady and he it made me calm literal freaking chills again i'm not even kidding did he survive yeah he was okay and it was okay he got a new barn new house next year the harvest was the best it ever was years later after my dad died my mother told me that it wasn't lightning that he lit the fire that the farm was gonna fail and what he did saved it he saved us and and it just rocked me I thought he was the most honest man I knew. My mother said what he did wasn't right. She said that the scars and the pain, it just reminded him that he saved us. That's crazy. I'm in. I know you're the right thing for this plan. No more A's and B's, no more Romans. You know, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I still don't know how it's all gonna work out, so. I'll tell you one more secret. When you get to that point, swear on a sword. Don't hesitate. You'll know. Trust me. You'll know. Oh! Damn! God damn! What the hell's going on? That's probably the show. <laughs> That's crazy though. Whoa. That's insane. Oh. Damn. God damn! How about that for a freaking reunion? Mission almost freaking kill trick. <laughs> Are we gonna get a trailer for the next episode? Yeah. My name is Michonne. I lost someone years ago, but I just found out that he's alive. We're probably gonna I see myself. stuff from her perspective like more in the second episode. That's it. No other reason, no agenda. Alright, that was my reaction to the premiere of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, which was called Years. This was an absolutely phenomenal episode. I think 
It's a little bit of a cliche to say, but probably one of the best Walking Dead episodes in a while. And I just loved everything about it, how everything came together, how they told the six year story, the way they did. I think that was phenomenal. The Rick losing his hand thing, I thought it would be more of a kind of pointless thing in the story, but it ended up actually working quite well in the story. And it was actually good. I liked what they did with that. And also the reunion, even though it was pretty much spoiled in the trailer or in one of the teasers, I should say that they released, it was still great because it didn't happen the exact same way we thought, but it was similar to what we had in our minds as far as speculations. So it was still shocking, which I actually liked, but a great episode. I'll definitely do a breakdown of the trailer in the next few days, but absolute fantastic episode and if this is the start and if this is not even the best episode of the season then I think we're going to be in for quite a wild and emotional ride but I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did smash the like button subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel that's it for this video see you next time for another super video